Hey guys, I'm back in Ukraine. It's the first time in two years since I left in September of 2023. I've actually been in Ukraine for the past couple of months. And while I was here, I was able to meet with some manufacturers and drone operators. And I was taking my designs and ideas and bouncing it off of them and seeing what we could develop. Still, I feel that I need to get this information to my casual consumer of my content. I do get a lot of questions about it in the comment sections below. Um, I am no longer fighting on the front. I haven't been since September 2023. The days of me charging Russian positions in the Humvees with guns blazing are behind me. My mission and focus even since before the war had started, has always been to support Ukraine to the best of my abilities. At the beginning of 2022, that was me coming here and fighting and training the Ukrainians how to use Western weapons. Now my role is to utilize my engineering background and know-how and expertise in designing and manufacturing solutions to current battlefield problems, namely Russian drones. I was fortunate to join Defense Tech Ukraine in my home city of Lviv to attend the Brave One Tech Expo back in October and I was able to showcase some of my designs and engineering capabilities. I also made several trips to the front line with active drone units, learned what I could from these guys on how I could better design and produce equipment that is needed at the front. One of the two designs I showcased during the event was this recoilless shotgun design. It's to be mounted onto drones to use as a counter to other Russian drones. By venting some of the gas and trapping it into this chamber, it would immediately redirect and vent the gas backwards out of the system, causing the device to operate like a recoilless gun. This device showed promise, but talking with the drone operators at the front, they showed me several issues with the concept of using shotgun mounted drone designs. I also floated the idea with various groups of my capabilities to design and produce a belt fed 12 gauge automatic system as seen from this YouTube video. There's no collaboration between myself and the owner of the original content, but because I am someone who has designed and built belt feds in the past, by watching this video and understanding the basic concept on how this system works, I was able to design a system that takes elements from the Browning machine gun and the Mark 19 and several other machine guns that could be used to make a system that we could mount as a point defense on a static position or even vehicles. It would require additional support as I am well suited at design and developing of mechanical systems, I do lack the knowledge on electrical and algorithmic systems. But I will be able to partner with some Ukrainian groups I've met that are capable of doing this kind of work. The second design I showcased at the event and to the drone operators was this simple 40 millimeter grenade launcher. Using my knowledge and ability in such designs, I basically took the 203 barrel in overall length and dimensions and in a simple straight tube configuration while using the same fire, con fire control group as my recoilless shotgun created a reusable but more importantly a cheap and if necessary disposable 40 millimeter grenade launcher specifically tailored for drones. This device got more interest than the shotgun despite being a non-functional mock-up. I designed the launcher as a way for drone teams to engage Russian infantry and light vehicle using Western 40mm HEDP ammunition. As multiple of these launchers could be mounted to a single drone, this allows for follow-up shots from a single drone or engaging multiple targets from the same single drone. But as I showcased the launcher, already in the heads of these soldiers and fellow designers came the ideas on how to employ them effectively, which led me to my current project and what I need the most amount of help and support from you guys. One of the main requests I was asked from the guys was, was it possible to fire net projectiles? 
Originally, I was thinking too technically on the issue, but as I considered it over the last few weeks, I realized that not only was it possible, but it can be done cheaply. I know there are plenty of 12 gauge net and bola designs out there, but the same issues with using these also affect other 12 gauge designs too. Mostly the range, the recoil, and the accuracy of hitting a moving target with another moving target. Using the high low pressure of the 40 millimeter mitigates the recoil. The amount of space we have inside the shell, we could also possibly fit a larger net think something from 6 to 12 feet in diameter. And with the proper method of delivery and deploying the net, this will also address the accuracy and range issues. You see, you don't need to destroy the drone. Having one or two of its props taken out of commission, either by damage or fouling, will cause the drone to fall. And having an area of 28 to 113 feet uh, to hit something that is fast moving and small like an FPV is extremely advantageous. Not just FPVs, but also these rounds can be configured to be used against larger reconnaissance or even kamikaze drones. Not just designed for air-to-air -air engagements, I've also been designing a ground-mounted version to protect vehicles and UGVs. Like this simple 40 millimeter launcher, as seen in this quad configuration, which can be mounted onto ground vehicles and UGVs. This is just a concept art and will be continually developed alongside the projectiles. Using a system to track and target drones, it will orientate the launcher through left and right rotation and up and down tilt. It can engage drones with the net, preventing them from coming in contact with the protected item. Here are some concepts of the 40 millimeter net rounds I've been designing. Two overall lengths being proposed is the four inch, similar to the M433 HEDP round, and the larger five and a quarter inch parachute flare. The idea is pretty straightforward. Instead of modifying 40 millimeter casings, I will design and manufacture in Ukraine reusable 40 millimeter casings the tips of the grenades will act as the weights for the corners of the nets and the centrifugal force imparted by the rifling will aid in deploying of the nets. Because these are basically 40 millimeter rounds, they can also be used with existing 40 millimeter grenade launchers like the 320 or the M203. This is where I need your guys' help. I will be conducting a series of fundraisers to fund the research and development of not just the net projectiles themselves, but also the launchers. I've been playing around with the idea of making merch like this t-shirt design, this one being my famous EBR, but I've also designed three others like my M2 Browning, the AT4, aka Ammo, and my current favorite shoulder-fired, reloadable, explosive delivery device, the Carl Gustav. I don't have enough subscribers to use a service like Bunker Branding, so if you're interested in t-shirts or sweatshirts, definitely comment below and let me know your size and interest, and I will see if I can't get a limited order of these shirts put out there. I will also like to make some other items like mugs, wallets, other ways just to find help to fund this research. Although these are my goals, I want to remind you that I'm a one-man operation. Not only am I trying to create content for you guys and edit the videos myself, I'm also doing all the design work, the manufacturing and prototyping of the various devices and stuff that I've been creating. I'm also trying to create an e-commerce site so you guys can get whatever merch I'm able to design and list on there. I appreciate you guys and the support and for a lot of the work I've been doing I could not have done it without you guys so thank you. But definitely if you guys want to help out with the work that I'm doing for Ukraine like, comment, and subscribe. Also share my videos with others so that they know if they want to help this is a way that they can help. 
I know there's a lot of calls for action to help donate for causes like vehicles and drones for units in Ukraine, but this work is also important to being able to protect these assets and these brave Ukrainian fighters from the FPV threats and civilians from the kamikaze threats. We need to get these net rounds prototyped and tested in the field to help curb the Russian FPV threat. I've also started a Patreon that I will be posting my videos to before they go live on YouTube. Like my combat footage, my breakdowns, and my story times. This allows my patrons early access to my stuff as a thank you, and I also plan to do some Patreon-only content there as well for you guys. It's going to be linked down in the description. Also linked below is my Venmo and PayPal as well, if you guys choose to help out this way. You guys are amazing. I appreciate everything you guys do, and Slava Ukraine.